Here we are, it's the week of July 13th, 2015. The week begins with an historic event and one which finally allows us to fully enter into the Pluto Capricorn reconstruction we have been witnessing. On Tuesday, the New Horizons spacecraft will come to within visible range of the outermost planet of our solar system. Launched in 2006, New Horizons has been traveled 3 billion miles and is still able to transmit photos back to Earth from Pluto. Not only is this a remarkable human achievement, but it also signals our closest encounter with this most ominous of planets. Pluto has long been regarded as the planet that represents reconstruction, transition, and evolution. It comes as no small irony that as we approach this most unknown orb, we are also turning an historic corner with regard to our own evolution. The recent major initiatives that have been handed down are profound and significant. Although some events may be local to the United States, same-sex marriage and affordable health, as well as the removal of the Confederate flag, are all significant within the United States. They're hugely symbolic and meaningful. You know, but they also have bear noting with regard to the worldwide stage. Of course, none of those battles have been easily won, which is why the comparison to the historic and lengthy journey to Pluto becomes so apparent. If we view Pluto as that long, slow journey towards an evolutionary sea change, the comparisons come quite easily. It's pretty significant. Yet, so much of the current activity does emanate from the U.S. The sun's position in the natal chart of the country is 13 degrees Cancer. This is a birth chart reconstructed on July 4, 1776, 508 p.m. in Philadelphia. That is when the Declaration of Independence was, was signed, with Mars exactly at 13 degrees Cancer and Mercury and the Sun close at hand, we might expect to see some rather powerful events occur over the coming weeks. Mars is an activator, and we are witnessing this influence as churches across the southern United States are ignited surreptitiously. These types of events are indicative of a country under duress from years of suppressed emotions and a general social and economic malaise. It is only when the roof leaks that we truly fix it. The roof is now leaking and action, Mars, must be taken to resolve the topics that stand before us. We can no longer run and hide beneath a cloaked hood or other political ruse. Full transparency may be what may be what may be required, and one that truth is revealed, we may be forced into making the right decisions. Pluto and the New Horizons spacecraft are symbolic of this new frontier we see unfolding. So I think the two fit rather closely together. Arriving in Pluto, turning this corner in our evolution. Listen each week to Turning of the Wheel podcast on iTunes. Great guests, interesting information, topics you can use. My uh, website, if you're watching it here on YouTube, is also turningofthewheel.tv. And my website is turningofthewheel.com. I've got the weekly reports up there. I've got monthly reports up there. I've got educational astrology videos on my television station. If you want to contact me for a personal reading, 978-393-1036. You will not be disappointed. It is revealing, especially if you're in the midst of career, uh, student guidance, relationship issues, when to move, when to hold, and when to fold. Great time to look into astrology. And I'm here if you need me. Thanks, and I'll talk to you all next week.